before we begin, just a quick disclaimer. I, I don't work for the EPA. I'm not even in the field for HVAC. I'm simply a student going through the first year. Um, and everything I'm saying uh, is as close to as I can remember it. But understand this is basically um, edutainment. So always seek out the proper resources, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if I use different terminology, it's probably, once again, I'm not in the field and I don't know nearly as much or anything compared to someone who actually either graduated this program or even just spent six months in the field, right? So I'm just a nerd, newbie, and uh, good luck with everything in your future endeavors. All right, so we're going over the actual um, test day, not so much the questions. That'll be a separate video, which will come next, where I break down core, type one, type two, type three. Um, what we're doing is basically telling you the length of the class, which you can see the schedule. This was the, the schedule um, that was given out. So 8 a.m. to, but you see 4.30 is when the testing usually starts. It was a 10 hour day approximately. So prepare for that, rest up for that. Um, it isn't like uh, give the information, take the test and go on. The, the class itself is about eight hours. Um, and then testing begins. The breaks were five minutes every hour. So at the 55, they gave you five minutes and at zero, <clears throat> the class just started. So you, even if you're not there, it's gonna, class is just gonna begin. Uh, lunch, we we were let out literally maybe 10, 15 minutes early. Um, I stayed and I brought my own food um, and that's gonna be important. That's gonna fall under what things to bring. Food is important um, because if you have to drive to go get food, it could take 10 to 15 minutes just to get there and then it takes 10 to 15 minutes to get your food. 10 to 15 minutes, you're already late to come back. So I would suggest bringing like a small lunchbox or whatever, Bring go to the dollar store, get you some Ziploc, some Tupperware, make you some sandwiches, get you some chips, get you some drinks so that you don't have to leave the classroom. So that's it, bring your food, bring your drinks, bring some water, um, bring your manual. Uh, they were giving out manuals, but um, you have to call ahead to make sure that, hey, are you guys handing out manuals or are you giving us the manual um, at, the, at the, the day we show up? Because if you're supposed to print it out and you show up and you don't have it, it's gonna be real tough for you to, to read the information because you're gonna be trying to take it down and uh, study at the same time. So make sure you have your manual or you confirm that they're going to give you the manual. Uh, there are manuals online um, for I think like 20, 30 bucks, but I've seen them for free if you look hard enough on the Google search. Um, bring a notebook, notebook and a pen and also bring, um, now we didn't need an open pen, but you don't know what you're gonna need. Um, I always, you, it's just good. If you're going to a class, you always bring a notebook and a pen. Um, uh, a laptop or an iPad, I brought a laptop. They had laptops there, but once again, what if they didn't have a laptop? You know, um, what if something happened? You're like, well, that's their problem. Well, it's also your problem because now you're gonna have to come back. So you should, anything you can prepare to bring on your own, you should be bringing on your own. Um, another most important piece is knowing your social security number. You don't have to bring the social security card, but you need to know that number. But you do need to bring your ID. So you do need your ID and it can't be expired too. So it has to be an ID that is unexpired, um, most likely a state ID um, and a social security number. All right, now the questions itself on the test, it's 100 questions um, on core, type one, type two, and type three. And I'm gonna do a study guide in the next videos, breaking down those four. Those are the only four things that you need to study. Uh, it's 100 questions, 25 questions for each of those sections, and it's closed book. Um, the manual itself that you need to study has all information is about, I think it's like 24, 25 plus pages of reading material. And then you get a two page bubble and do chart front and back. And I'm gonna do a whole video on how to understand this chart. All right, so the test, you know, contains core and then sections one, two, and three, which is four sections, 25 questions each. You have to pass 70% or, uh, which is equivalent to 18 out of 25 correct. Now here's the thing. You have to pass core, which basically it talks about the EPA uh, history, the certain laws that are in place. You have to pass core. So say you pass core in um, type one, you're certified in type one. 
and you fail, you know, if you fail the other two and three, that's fine. You still get the type one certification. If you pass core and type one, type two, you get type one, type two certification, right? And obviously if you pass all three in core, you get all three certifications. But here's the thing. Um, and here's the, th here's the thing, right? There's, listen, the person who maintains policies. All right, so if you fail core, but you pass one, two, or three, or all three, you don't get certified because you need core. Now, if you pass a section, you don't have to repeat it during the retake, which is good. So say you failed core, but you passed one through three. Um, when you retake it, you only have to retake core, but you don't get certified in anything else until core. So I mean, as long as you get core in one other, whether it's one, two, or three, you'll get that one. So if you, once again, pass core, fail one, fail two, but pass three, then you're certified in uh, type three. Right, um, so that that part is important. So you can't just like get a 70 or a 71, 75 and um, be like, well, I passed overall. No, you in, in each 25 question section, you have to get a 70 or higher. All right, so that should be everything from this. Um, the next video that should be coming up will be, all right, yeah, so the next videos coming up should be um, study guides. And one last piece that I forgot to mention, uh, it's kind of important, is universal. So you have core, type one, type two, type three, and then there's universal. If you pass core and all three sections, you get universal. So there really isn't like a universal section when it comes to the testing. Um, there, there, there will be questions though on universal, but there isn't like a, a specific universal section. So if you kill core, and you kill one through three, you just basically automatically get universal, which means you are uh, able to maintain service repair, both high and low pressure systems, as well as small appliances. You will then become certified just by getting core and one through three done. So good luck.